Hello and welcome back. Uh, today we're making some trading animation inside Crazy. First, you have to have a ready animation to train that animation. I already have one. This is my jumping pumpkin, uh, because I guess that's the season now. Uh, and I'm gonna make this pumpkin to jump uh, on its own here and then to walk to walk away. So uh, yeah, let's uh, get into this right now. First, I have my animation here on one layer. I have a frame by frame animation happening on this layer. Let's go a pumpkin. <laughs> the pumpkin. No, not the. It's just a pumpkin. Okay. And my animation is long, basically four four frames, not four, forty. Forty frames, kids. Uh, and what else you need to know, if you're wondering, I guess, is my frame rate is twelve. You can do twenty four or less. Just no, no, no go above that. Okay. So this is my animation here. I have a staircase to 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 get on. The other thing that you need to do before you start uh training your animation is to bring out the animation curve timeline. Where you can do that, you can go through the um to the settings. Then you can go to sub dockers, and then you can check on the animation curves. It will pop up somewhere on your screen. Um, I put these two next to each other, so I have my timeline where I can do animation timeline where I can do my frame by frame animation and next to it I have the animation curves where I can actually animate the animation tween the to do the tweening of the animation animation tweening tween, tween yes 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 so in order to do animation tweening inside Krita you need to add a transform mask to your um animation. In this case this is my animation layer that I have here and on that add layer I, I have to add transform mask. Right button there, add transform mask. Almost ready to go. Now um here we have frame by frame animation, but as you see here underneath my pumpkin there is a transform mask layer. Now I cannot add on this timeline any keyframes. On that transform mask layer. In order to animate that transform mask layer, I need to go to animation curves, and here I can add keyframes. Now, here's here's how you can do it. You can literally this is your transform mask layer, right? You can go on frame zero, and you can add a keyframe from over here. You can pop up a couple of dots, and all of these dots you can see what they represent. Uh, this uh, um. The <laughs> colors today. The the red dot will represent the x the x position. The green one will be the y position, and so on and so on. Now don't get scared of this animation timeline, aka the animation curves, because you can always go back to your animation timeline once you added your first keyframe right in the previous timeline. Because now I can start animating without worrying to go back between the timelines and, and keep adding the keyframes because once we have one keyframe uh, created here in the animation curves we can go back to animation timeline to our animation timeline and grab your move to your transform to as well that's what it is transform to and now if i move through the frames maybe here i can the moment you click uh, your animation uh, in this case, it will be our transform mask that has the animation in it. The moment we click your animation with the transform tool, it moves add a keyframe here because we already have set a keyframe in the beginning. And the more and uh, along the way, the rest of the uh, the the, um, the phrase we can print a, if we make any adjustments to the position. Of our transform mask, Krita will add automatically a keyframe here, so we don't have to worry to add it ourselves. That's very nice. So I want to add a keyframe over here, and on next frame he's jumping. I want to bring this up over here, and then to come over here, maybe. Let's see how that goes. There we go. He jumps. There we go. It's uh, it's pretty. Nice. Let's see how we're gonna do with the rest now here. Yeah, uh, your animation may not update straight away because well for me now uh, I'm recording this and it takes a little bit of time. But when you do your screen animation usually uh, it's a bit slow. So I'm, I'm gonna add a keyframe over here by clicking on the on the animation. Then on the next keyframe, which is over here, I'm gonna move this up. 
you know, here and as you see, it's already adding a keyframe for us, so we don't have to switch between the timelines. As I said, coming up around here, and on the last keyframe, I can literally track this off screen as he's leaving, right? And this is my animation. Now, if I play this, we're gonna see what we have. There we go. It's a bit faster, but now I have all these keyframes here that are visible. If I, if I hold this one second, if we go back to my animation curves, you will see how Krita already had added the, the positions and the keyframes, so we don't have to worry about that. Now, the other thing you can add is the easy in and easy out. I didn't show you how you can do that. Previous one. Uh, the one downfall of this um, animation timeline so far is that you cannot select the points, you cannot select your keyframes and you try to adjust them. I mean, you can if you try to select point by point, which means half of these, um, half of these uh, are not, we don't need them. Uh, so right now we're just making um, adjustments to the the x and y position so we can hide the rest of the points by clicking them all right there we go so we have only these two and now i can select these two points holding shift select more than one and we can add this to have a bezier interpolation now they will change their color and we can try to make a lock with them there we go something like that and we can go, we can either play your animation here. Uh, good tip uh, is to save your animation file before you start making any training animation. It's, it's gonna be helpful because um, right now, Chris is very not stable. Okay, so I huh, yesterday I had a, an accident, it, it crashed, and I didn't save my work. And that was a very nice moment. Uh, let's just play and see what we have. There you go. It goes slow and then fast. Um, maybe we can slow this down like this. Yeah, he goes back. He goes forward. <laughs> you get an easy east and easy easy out and easy in uh, based on your points that you have here. But once you remove the extra ones that you don't need, you can easily um, do this. So uh, yeah. Anyway, this is all for me. Uh, let me know if this was helpful or not by liking or disliking. Or uh, if you have any questions, do leave them in the comments down below. Either me or someone else will help you out. Uh, and it's very nice to see uh, you know, this sort of uh, function inside, inside Krita, finally. And yes, I know Krita is not made for animations in general. And not a lot of people know about that. But the more, the more you know, the better, as I say. Or is it? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this is my animation for you today. Hope you liked it. I said that. Great. I'm sorry. I went to the dentist uh, yesterday. I, I, it's, it's <sighs> more of my stories. Don't go to the dentist. Simple as that. <laughs> Until the next one, I'm gonna say bye. Uh, stay healthy. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna see you someday this year or maybe next year. Bye.